1570 WOCA. Five minutes after 10 o'clock, beautiful Friday morning, and that music must mean Kelly Hart is nearby <laughs> from Ocala Magazine. Good morning, Kelly. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Happy Veterans Day. You brought a cameraman today? I did, yes. Wow, and a guest? Yes, wow. I know. It's a great Friday. <laughs> it is a good Friday, yes. Um, so uh, so we want to wish everyone a happy Veterans Day You guys today. did outstanding with that issue, by the way. Thank you very much. That article. Thank you. We've gotten such a great response, and I think the people, especially veterans especially, felt um, really appreciative of us taking yes, yes. You know, that and kind of making it the biggest yeah. focus of this issue. So we appreciate the people who have taken the time within the last few days to sit down and send us those really nice emails because I think it just for us it reinforces what we're doing and 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 it's very helpful for us and as I think well, it so. helps remind the rest of us those non-veterans that um, we really owe a debt of gratitude to this whole part of our population that yes. decided you know hey you know I might not come out of this alive but I'm doing right. it for my country so, right yeah well I got a call from Eugene Poole who is on the cover our cover guy. this month and the cover model uh, yes he's our cover model and so that was a really great call because he was very complimentary and um i could not have asked for a better call uh -huh. that morning so so i appreciate that and so switching gears this morning i do have a guest with me his name is richard trayford and he is the organizer of the inaugural um three-day jockey club international event that will be happening thanksgiving and, wow. and that whole weekend wow. so i kind of want to turn things over to richard and let him talk to you about the event because this is um just remember when uh, the coats golf tournament it was right. happening and right. we didn't know anything about about it and so uh, it was kind of just like what to expect and what things will be available to to this community and of course outside the community because people come from all over this is that caliber of an event and it's not just for the equine uh, community it's for everybody and I'll let Richard kind of get into uh, f I guess first how the event came to be because I'm sure it, it was a, a long time of planning and and then what we can expect so people can start planning their Thanksgiving weekend around it so first thank you for being here this morning and I'll let you well thanks very much for the introduction can I just jump back a little bit if you pardon the pun <laughs> um, it is uh, thank um, not Thanksgiving it is Veterans Day, yes, Day yes, and in yes. my country you can tell I've got a funny foreign accent we call that Remembrance Day. Oh, okay, okay. And it is as important to us sure. in Great Britain, sure. particularly with our great allies, the United States. Thank goodness we are um, allies. We're so passionate about it, in fact, that on the 11th hour of the 11th day, every car in England will pull to the side of the road. Is that right? We don't wow. move an inch. Um, so it's an important day to me for that reason. It's also an important day to me because it's my wife's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so and thankfully, that always reminds me that it's her birthday. Um, and the reason I wanted to jump back to that is because our sport actually originated as, an, as a military sport. Is that right? It was about the cavalry oh, and wow. how we trained horses for combat. So I think what a brilliant day to be introducing this to the public. I never a knew that. A military sport with a military tradition coming to Ocala, and we're talking about it on Veterans Day. Very good. So that's Very good. terrific. Now, as you rightly said, this is a sport that has much more reach than just the regular horsey folk. In fact, I'm quite passionate. Is that what about you call them in England? Horsey folk? Horsey folk. Okay. You know, we're in the horsey capital of the world. <laughs> yes. But I want to make it absolutely clear you don't have to love horses. You don't have to be expert on horses. You don't really even need to like them particularly to enjoy this event. Why it's wouldn't you like a horse, though? Especially well, if I hope we all folk. do. And we're all good people and we love all animals. Like. But the, the main thing is, I think sometimes people find horse sports quite intimidating. Hmm. I don't understand it. I don't relate to it. I certainly can't afford one why would I want to come and watch one and those are exactly the people that I want to invite to this event okay people who like frankly adrenaline sports extreme sports exciting sports and to see athletes competing human or equine for that matter this is a triathlon 
essentially on horseback. It's dressage, which is ballet, sometimes a little boring to some of us. That's always on Thursday and Friday. Uh -huh. Cross country, which is the extreme element where horses jump, miles of cross country jumps, huge fences testing the bravery of the horse and rider. That's for all of us. That's the people who don't necessarily get off on the horse buzz, but understand that excitement's quite uh -huh. good uh -huh. and find it kind of funny when someone falls off in the water. So that appeals to just all of That's us. That's a good photo op. Yes. Yeah, and I'm I'm chronically immature, so I always enjoy that. But <laughs> oh, no, one, no. no one wants to see people hurt, and especially horses. And fortunately, we're very well organized in that department, and the horse welfare comes way above everything else. But seeing a little tumble in the water always brings out the child in all of us. <laughs> and then we'll walk away from the horses a little bit, because really what this becomes is a big shopping village and an entertainment complex for people. We, it's no coincidence that this event is running over the Black Friday period, and we wanted to invite a really eclectic mix of vendors to come and participate in this, both food vendors with full liquor licenses, as well as interesting and quirky vendors. Oh, wow. And uh, this, is, this is in Reddick, huh? This is in the fabulous Ocala Jockey Club that has been private for years and years and is now throwing its gates open to the public. Oh. We're talking nearly a thousand acres for everyone to come and enjoy. So it's free. Just it's you have to pay to park. That's all. That's hey, it? it just gets better and better. I feel like Santa Claus at Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're offering this for free this year. We want to convert people into this fantastic sport. It's a sport, by the way, that typically boasts the largest live audience of any sport of any kind in is the world. Is that right? Yeah, in my little rural villages in England, we get 250,000 people oh, wow. descend on Saturday for the cross-country no day. No way. Yeah, at two events a year, 250,000. We were only superseded by NASCAR, which is obviously close to home. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But nowadays, we still boast those kind of audiences, and my plan is a very ambitious one. I want this event to become, maybe not year one, but over a five-year period, the biggest sporting event of any kind in Marion County. Our great mayor is fully on board. He's part of our committee. He gets it, so to speak. But unless the public fully get it and really come and support this thing and enjoy it, it for themselves, we'll hit that target, I think. It is nice to see another, sp another horse-related sporting event. Uh, and maybe one that's really geared towards the public, you know, our community. It's that we're here at this level to entertain you. Yeah. You're not here. Well, to I be think you're making a good point. I yeah. think a lot of people may or may not go to the races... And they may or may not bet on the horses, like at, at Ocala Breeder Sales, where you mm -hmm. can bet on the, the video, you know. But you're not seeing them. You're, the only thing you see is the horses in the stables over there. Well, well s sadly, and, you know, I, 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 I certainly won't be impolite and delve into the politics of it, there isn't a lot of racing close to home inside the horse capital of the world. Um, but we're not constricted by that. We can put on a very high-level competition that's just as thrilling. And it is highly relevant there because... We chose the Ocala Jockey Club and chose to keep it as the title of the event to pay homage, if you like, to the fact that this is essentially a thoroughbred industry here. So it is the Ocala Jockey Club. A lot of thoroughbreds, when they retire from racing, become event horses. So you'll see off-the-track thoroughbreds jumping huge fences and demonstrating their bravery at this show. So it is a nod to some of the horses that have actually been bred in mm -hmm, this area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I kind of want to reinforce what he was saying because um, I'm I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to the equine industry. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I enjoy it and I, I think it's lovely, but you know the the ins and outs of it. And last year, I had an opportunity to go to our Live Oak event, and right, right. But, but I do love competition. I love sports, and I love the high energy of any kind of event. And it was something to do, and so I went. I mean, I just I had a great time. I mean, I was just in awe of what was happening, of all of the the riders, and then the the you know the the horses themselves, and how well decorated they were. And I mean, there were you know some vendors there. I don't think that there was even any food there other than some uh, you know like VIP tents. So I think that was even a, a much much smaller scale than what you're talking about. And I know I had a great time. I ne I did not feel. Like I didn't belong there. I didn't feel like I didn't fit into what was happening. And so for someone who's been to an event who is not well-versed in that, I can say that what he's saying is not just fluff to get people out there. It's mm -hmm. it, 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 He's being sincere and saying that you can go to something like of this caliber and not know 
too much about it and still have an amazing time. But can you teach us a little bit as far as being a spectator? What do we look for? How do we know who's winning and what 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 is winning? Well, we're going to make it's a very good question, and that's usually where people get quite intimidated. So we're going to make a special effort during this event to show the public and explain. My commentary team are second in none. One's a regular with the BBC over in the UK, so he's got a funny accent like me. But hopefully, <laughs> we'll all. Understand. Why do you call it a funny accent? I like your accent. Well, it always gets a smile <laughs> but yeah uh, to me you know we, oh it we, gets a smile when you call it a funny accent i don't think i have an accent but you know i've, I've been used to <laughs> to hearing ideas um but no look seriously we, we've got good commentary team that understand that it's not about preaching to the converted here we've got to make sure that the public are kept up with it and to answer your question specifically we work on a reverse penalty system it's it's and unusually against... Oh, really? Them. Yeah, so wh whoever ends on the lowest score wins. So you start with a number? You start with... Pen no, you start with, with nothing, but you gain penalty points oh, as you I go see. through the event I for see. each discipline. And the lowest number ah, of penalty points okay, okay. gives you the victory. And so the dressage part that you, you, you compare it to ballet... Yeah. That is also that's part of it. I mean, you, we we as spectators have to understand how you win and lose points on that one. Yeah. So if we just go back to the military idea again, um, the, uh, originally the the dressage element was to show how well schooled and trained and balanced the horse was and mm -hmm. how obedient it was to the rider. It is very skillful dressage. I'm not a huge dressage fan, and I have enormous respect for people who who are and who really understand it. But the idea of that again is to show how well balanced and trained and prepared the horses before it does the other elements which could be potentially dangerous if the horse wasn't properly prepared uh, okay, okay. and that's scored and that's why you like the other part better well because it looks dangerous right i like exciting sports yeah, you know yeah, we're, yeah, all, yeah. we're all different but if i was playing a sport today you know i i, I like all the the adrenaline sports so I tend to like extreme sports and i like good team sports as well um so we're all different you know i i, I don't i'm not a huge fan of our english sport cricket which would be equivalent to baseball perhaps which goes on for several hours mm -hmm. i'm much more a fan of say basketball or something that's fluent and uh -huh, keep, uh -huh, keeps uh -huh. on going I mean, that's just a personal taste so, but typically those kind of sports appeal to, to quite a large group of people so i think this one will and people will be pleasantly surprised so the, as a handicap for us as spectators you do have somebody on the overhead speakers talking to us tell, telling us th in other words taking us by the hand and saying that was good <laughs> you uh, can cheer now absolutely <laughs> absolutely we do you okay. know on, on the the day that i'm recommending for everyone particularly those who are not going to necessarily want to be there for the full three or four days um the saturday is kind of self-explanatory if you're jumping around a cross-country course and the horse runs right past the fence we can pretty much all guess that he's going to get some penalty points mm -hmm. sounds like if, fun if the rider lands on his bottom you can pretty much guess that that's not good news either. <laughs> right. So most of it is kind of self-explanatory, but you will have a great commentary team leading you through every step of every rider's activity. Uh, we need to take a little break, so we'll be right back. And, and if you have a question about this whole thing, we would love for you to call in, sure. right? Kelly, yes, you're okay absolutely. with calls? Oh, right, absolutely. We'll take a little break and be right back. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accidents. On this Friday, Veterans Day, mostly sunny and pleasant with a high of 76 to 80. Mainly clear Friday night with a low of 46 in the coldest inland spots to 55 along the coast. For Saturday, sunshine mixing with clouds, a nice day, the high 77 to 81. And on Sunday, times of sun and clouds, the high 78 to 82. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. There are only a few things in life that you can be certain will always be around. Death, taxes, the pursuit of happiness, and computers. As they continue to advance at an epic pace, the one absolute certainty about them is that they'll break. It's not an if, it's a when. And when it happens, bring it to the only company in Ocala that's certified in Apple and Microsoft. Ocala Mac and PC Repair. They even offer on-site computer repair service, so they come to you. And if you do drop it off, you can check your repair status online. Ocala Mac and PC Repair is a family-owned and operated company that can do everything from mobile repair to wireless networks, fixing viruses, data recovery, even building and installing new systems. Visit online at OcalaMacPC.com. In person, 1713 East Silver Springs Boulevard. Or give them a call, 352-566-8324. That's 352-566-8324. Ocala Mac and PC Repair. 
Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that, I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too. Well, as a matter of fact, join me, Matt Gibbs, from Sunrise Automotive every Tuesday at 10 for auto repair with personal care right here on The Source. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA The Source every night from 2 to 6 a.m. and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara. And me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment. Right here on WOCA The Source. If you are hearing this message and wish to lose 50 pounds permanently, then write this phone number down, 352-633-0473. Dr. Juan Jordan's office in Lady Lake is offering the first 15 callers a free metabolism and body fat analysis with a comprehensive, in-depth fat-burning consultation. You have nothing to lose. Please call 352-633-0473. All right, I've lived in horse country for so long, Kelly, and there's so much I don't know about horse sports and, and all those things, and uh, and you're helping us learn more. And we're going to learn more. That's, uh, this is, of course, Ocala Magazine Radio. Kelly Hart is here. Richard Trayford is Kelly's guest, and uh, we're talking about an event happening November 25th, 26th, and 27th Yes, at the Ocala Jockey Club. Yes, the Ocala Jockey Club International three-day event. And we've talked about the competitions, but me being a woman, of course, I want to get into the shopping side of things because ah, there's going to be... Okay. So I think the timing of everything is perfect. First of all, it's Thanksgiving weekend, yeah, so yeah. you probably are going to be home, you're going to be off work, you're going to have a lot of family and guests to entertain, especially if they're from out of town. I think this is so perfect because really true. you tell your yeah. family, you know, I, I live in Ocala and we're known for our equine and we're the horse capital of the world, but what does that really mean and what does it look like? Now you're able to bring all of those guests that came in from out of town and put them in the car and take them to this event and say, this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So they get to see our beautiful Ocala Jockey Club, which is kind of, you know, a, his a historic you know, part of uh, nostalgia of Ocala and the equine culture. And they get to enjoy all of the beautiful horses. We can only assume the weather is going to be phenomenal that weekend and entertain your family. <laughs> Yo. And it's a free <laughs> event other than the parking. So, I mean, there's really nothing more that you could ask for, but there is. So now we know that there's all of these great things. Plus, there's going to be vendors and shopping. So you don't have to come, you know, and sit in these lines at four in the morning. You could do all of your Black Friday shopping here. You could still be supporting your um, shop small business Saturday. Mm -hmm. You could be doing that and know that, you know, you're supporting small businesses in that regard. And there's going to be food. And so I'll let Richard kind of go into that and give us a little bit more in the way of specifics of um, is there alcohol, is there food, is there shopping? You know, yes, yes, yes. But what does that look like? Oh, there, those are yes spectator. answers. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, and thank you for that. And, and, and what it will look, actually, is a little familiar in a way, because what I've been very, very impressed with is in this area, if you take the, the area at, at large, is some very surprisingly successful uh, vendor villages already. Recently, we had the Macintosh 1890s fair. Yes. But last weekend yes. was the art fair in, in, in Gainesville. Gainesville bragged 100,000 people at that fair, uh, 40,000 at the Macintosh fair, which is, by the way, three miles from the Ocala Jockey Club, which uh -huh, is uh -huh. equidistant between Gainesville and equidistant. Ocala. Equidistant. Mm -hmm. Good right. choice of words. <laughs> yeah, exactly between Gainesville and Ocala, uh -huh. half a mile off I-75, so really easy to get to. But my point is, I went to all these fairs the downtown arts festival that they have here, uh, the farmers market that we have here, and I thought what would be nice is to get a little sampler, if you like, of all the best vendors that we have around and invite them to come along so that you haven't got something that's solely an arts and crafts fair, right. or the worst case scenario often in our sport, a bunch of tax tech dealers only selling to the competitors. Right. I wanted a mixture of everything. And we've got people coming from far and wide with this. So on the shopping experience, it's mm -hmm. a very good point that was brought up there. You know, we are talking Black Friday after all. This may be an opportunity to come away with something a little more interesting, a little more unusual mm -hmm. as a, a potential like Christmas Like what? Like who's represented there? Well, how about a horse? 
<laughs> no, jokes aside. Are you selling horses? We've got some very good artists, for instance, uh -huh. some very good jewelers, some really funky ideas in the jewelry side. Some like um, what? Like what? What's a funky idea well, in jewelry? Well, I'm I'm not a jewelry expert, but there's <laughs> one, for instance, that uses um, horse nails, I believe, that they have shoes funky. on and makes some really crazy stuff out oh, of that kind of stuff. Okay. Oh, wow. That's but again, nice. it's not all equine related, and I want to really stress that there's <laughs> some really good. Tr kind of trendy clothing people uh -huh, that, uh -huh. are, that are boutique kind of level clothing so what what I want everyone to experience that comes along is something that perhaps surprises them a little so I don't really want to you know go through the sure. graphic detail give you you mentioned food though and, and, and liquor licenses and I know we're not all obsessed with getting blind drunk every five minutes but mm -hmm. we do want to have a bit of fun at the show yeah, sure, and sure. I do think everyone not just the VIPs deserve a beer tent and a nice drink yes and an example of that would be there's this wonderful food truck that appears quite regularly now, the Blue Highway Pizza Federal oh, Food yes, Truck. Oh, yes, yes. We yes. all think that's super cool. Yes, yes. What? We all think that's super cool, don't we? And <laughs> they've got a full <laughs> liquor license. Sign language out the window. So they're, yeah, so they're coming. Someone was waving to me. They're coming to the show, uh -huh, and that's uh -huh. the kind of standard of food vendor that I want. I think there's anybody Anybody serving horseradish at all? That would seem appropriate. <laughs> uh, well, Rondo from Mojo's <laughs> is catering the ah, VIP. I and I want to jump back to a comment made on Live Oak, which is a beautiful show run by Chester Weber and, yes. and, and his team. Um, and that's probably a good representation of what we have on offer. Lots of green space and lots of glamour, really. Yes. That's become a big social scene. Our VIP tent is a permanent building. It's a clubhouse. And that's where Rondo from, everyone knows Rondo <laughs> from Mojo's, has proven his worth as, uh -huh. a, as a VIP caterer, not just the sort of, you know, food that he does brilliantly in all the Mojo's restaurants. Right, I'm a huge right. fan of the blues I'm a big fan of Rondo's and I love that kind of atmosphere but he also can ramp it up a little bit and do some quite good fine dining yes. and that's what we're you know if you're listening Rondo pressure's on <laughs> um, you know let's have some fine dining in the VIP clubhouse right. But something for everybody. That's the important thing. It's free to get in, but you can spend a lot of money on a VIP ticket if you'd like. Well, he says a lot of money, and he told me the price in the lobby. But then when he went down the long list of everything that you're getting for that price, right. which is open bar, and then you said there's two... Four days of catering, breakfast and lunch, uh, open bar the right. entire... Uh, event, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, a couple of parties. The VIPs are all, all invited to a big party being hosted at Golden Ocala, or one come of our you prime haven't done sponsors. This before, why is this? This seems like a natural idea for our area. Why? I mean, I'm glad you're doing it. <laughs> But I, why now? I mean, it seems like it should You can't be. see a smile on the radio, <laughs> can you? But I, I've got a big smile. Yeah, I'd call it a no-brainer. Yeah, it is a no-brainer. Let's all get together and celebrate the fact that this is the horse capital of yeah. the world. Yes. And not be either intimidated by it or feel that it's on the wrong side of I-75. I want everyone what? to come. Does mm -hmm. anybody think that? Right. People side. do. They think there's a handful of billionaire horse owners, and uh -huh. there are. And that's all true. Uh -huh. And therefore, it doesn't belong to us. And my attitude is completely the opposite of that. I want everyone to be invited. Mm -hmm. This is where these venues and these facilities openly throw open their gates and say, come and enjoy yourself, have a drink on us. And that's why it's free to come in. We want you to enjoy it. Kelly, do you want to leave with uh, like yes, websites? Yes, I definitely want to make sure that if anyone has numbers? any questions about the event as far as being a spectator, being a guest, also if someone's still interested in being a vendor, are those spaces still available as yes, well? Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we want to make sure uh, what I have, and there's a two-page spread in the November issue of Ocala Magazine, so if you have one of those, there's information. If you go to ocalamagazine.com and look at our digital issue, you can flip through to page 38, and you'll find two pages of good information. There's a phone number there at the bottom. Is there a website that you'd like to give people or a phone number specifically? Y yes, there is. Uh, the official title of this event is called the Ocala Jockey Club International Three Day Event. The abbreviation for the website is OJC3DE.com. Ocala Jockey Club Three Day Event. OJC3DE.com. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I'll take a call from anyone who ever wants to call me, 352-425-7709. And between now and then, we'll have some information that we'll put on the Ocala Magazine Facebook page. So, of course, always like us on Facebook so that you can get all of that information. Thank you, Richard, for being here. We look forward to the event, and I want to challenge everybody to set aside some time during Thanksgiving weekend, if not every day, at least one of those afternoons, to get out and support this wonderful event. All right. Thank you. I hope Thanks. we see more of this. Thank this sounds so really much. fun. Thank you.
you. Thank you, uh, Kelly. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. We'll be right back. And Chris, thank you. Yeah, no problem. I can't wait to see some of those shots, <laughs> especially the back of Richard's head. That was going to be good. <laughs> we'll be right back. Everybody tell me how the rock and roll, the rock and roll is going to soothe my soul. I don't care about the rock and jive. Just want to be your man tonight. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Thousands keeping.